Metal Gear! Is this guy always this big? Oh! We're driving it! We have gun to battle? Oh no, it's a fighting game. I'm bad at these. Do I still have a block? Okay, looks like I do. Okay, I, I do have a... This might be the best feeling boss by virtue of me having a back step. It actually like feels like a back step. This is in fact my first playthrough. Hello, uh, Rigmiz. I'm busy with boss fight. I may not be able to read all of your chats. Maybe my fir my favorite boss in the game so far, and I am not biased because I love giant robots, or because it's honestly actually not that hard. Whoop. So I talk shit, and now, now I'm getting wrecked. <laughs> yeah, giant robot one. One of my favorite kids ever. It's pretty good. I've been really enjoying it. Although, I don't know how I feel about the combat mechanics. The the actual, like, speedy platforming levels are very fun.
After his fight with Double, Flint continued on his own, aimlessly. Passing through a junkyard, he noticed a house, and somehow that house piqued his interest. What was inside shocked him. In there lay the body of a local waste collector. In the corner, crying, there was a very strange looking person. Carefully, Flint approached it. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry, said the crying person. I didn't mean to, my power, it went out on its own. The person he saw was some kind of robot, but it looked like nothing... It looked nothing like any other robot he'd ever seen. This thing could be dangerous, he thought. Then he remembered what he had been thought through in the past and decided to help. Here, take my hand. Let's get out of here. Together they went to a secluded spot where they spoke to each other. She had no memories of who she was or why she looked the way she did. While staring at her reflection in the puddle, she began to cry. Please wait here, said Flint as he rushed over to a nearby city. A local donation box, he procured a set of clothes. The girl was pleasantly surprised. A few hours later, the girl cho finally chose the perfect outfit. Flint also gave the girl the name. It's Float. She would be named Float due to the marking beneath her eyes. She did not mind the name. So she was a robot, but now she doesn't seem to be one anymore? Uh, both roamed the world together as Flint showed her how to engage in society. They ran from to trouble from time to time, but never really caused any trouble themselves. Both remained this way for a while until the day would come where Flint picked up a signal sent directly to him. He remained disconnected from the general internet, but was open to communication requests. Wearing people skin. Ugh. Initially, the message was a cry for help, but later diverged into pure noise. Quickly, Flint cut the message short and deleted traces of it from his memory. That noise. It wasn't just a noise. It was a malicious program. Immediately, he looked at Float, but she was surprisingly fine. Shortly after, a familiar face made himself present. Hey, long time no see. Oh yeah, that was the boss we fought in the previous world. Looks like he made a friend. And let me guess. You got the signal, too. Flint assumed Double heard the whole message and was now fully infected. Whatever that program was, it was now fully in control. The devil. I have not played Spark 2. Uh, I jumped into this one because it came out recently, and it looks super cool. Most robots, when receiving a message, this message is fully copied into their system stored and then read after. Flint concluded that if the message was, was played in full, only then would the program f take full control. And since he deleted it from his memory, he miraculously dodged a bullet. Definitely. Flo was never connected in the first place, so she was not infected. Still, there was always a chance that Double wasn't infected at all, considering his previous experiences with him. Or if the program would even have any effects on him. What do you want, said Flint. It's a very special mission from someone very powerful, Double shouted. Calls himself From. I won't mention lore from that. Alright, sounds good. You should see his his specs. He's unmatched in every aspect. Truly the most advanced killing machine. Definitely. And, hmm, something something ro robot utopia. And all we have to do is get rid of one pesky robot. And the client is promising a better role in this so-called new world if we succeed. What if we fail, asked Flint. Think he'll kill us or something like that, said Double. Flint knew this was not good news, and he also knew he could not beat Double in a one-on-one. -on -one. With that, Flint came up with a plan. He would follow Double in his, minute, in his mission and pretend Double was still his master, just like before. Because of that, he would, regretfully, lie to Float about his past, claiming he worked for the liberation of robot kind from their abusers. Together with the, th uh, the three trained, it was only then that Flint realized the magnitude of Float's powers. Training had taken a surprisingly long time as Float had no prior combat experience. Regardless, the day would come where they would set off on their own journey. A journey where Flint would lose his only friend. Alright, Area 7, which is where we're probably going to fight Flint, and then Area 8 is presumably the final world, where we're going to fight Fark? Which, I- that name, I will never take seriously. Mr. Powers. Okay, I wanna try this one out. 
I, I guess I could get float, but I don't. I don't. I don't know. For sun. Alrighty then. Let's begin level seven. Area eight of eight hundred. I know they added like the entire second game's levels into this game. Uh, we're learning this mechanic. The register is nice. It looked super fun. Man, I wanted to. Oh dear, that's a lot of areas. Okay, I guess I... Uh, charge death to dash. Which is... Oh, da right, dash cancels it as well. Playing on an incline... Wait, what? Incline slope? Really? That's safe? Yeah, no, Scythe looks a lot more fun than the base form. I'm kind of sad that it took basically till the end of the game, presumably, to get it. It's pretty intuitive. Most games have that kind of canceling. Although I should look at how it combos. Because the thing I didn't like about Float, Dash and the Reaper is the best part. Noted. I didn't even realize the dashes would be different, but it sure is. I did not. <laughs> I hit the B button to dash. Also can't see the cancel through laser. Oh, does that is it, is it like um? Okay. Yeah, it's it's invincible. Got it. I mean, not it's it's path is invincible. I assume it itself is not. know how I feel about the Jester dash. Like, the, the charge dash. That was a completely intentional skip. <laughs> Very intentional. This is nice. I'm not much of a sp Ow. Really? Car guy? Okay, there we go. We're back! was a weird physics interaction. <laughs> I think the only game I would consider, like, doing really speedy levels is probably Pizza Tower for me. 
So that game's been really fun, and I'm kind of wishing I streamed it, but it, it's fun. God damn, I hate those stupid tires. Rocket jumping. TF2. Uh, I've played TF2 very briefly when I was younger, though I never really got into playing it on my own time. Yeah, I don't think I'm ever switching off of Reaper now. It's so cool. I mean, I haven't used it in combat yet, admittedly, so I don't know how it fights. But, like, for, for solid platforming, it feels really good. Oh god, that was a mistake! <laughs> oh no! We'll make it work somehow. <laughs> I'm actually not sure if the lasers damaged me here, but I don't want to find out. I guess I'm supposed to go down here. I mean, you know... Supposed to, through running. We made it! It worked! It's fine! So I'm gathering I don't want to touch the red glowy balls from this. Does it, like, go away? It does seem to go away, yes. Uh, where the crap do I go from here? Uh, up there, perhaps? Sure looks like it. Yep. Yeah. Touch fuzzy get demonically possessed? Okay, so just don't touch jump and we'll be fine. <laughs> They definitely remind me of the fuzzies from uh, Yoshi's Island, even though I've not played that. Totally be fine. There's definitely stuff down here. Oh, what the fuck? Where am I? This is not where I died. Okay, it is. Okay, I just didn't recognize it. Understood. Okay. 
No, no. Fuck. I'm noticing that some of them aren't red. I've discovered what the ones that aren't red do. <laughs> they make everything awful. Wait, oh no, I- oh my god, I already double jumped. Level, shall we? Hello, friend. Okay, isn't this? No, okay, this is a different part of level that just happens to look similar to the past part of level. Okay, cool. I don't know if I'll go for the speed levels. I tend not to like time trials. Although this game is very fun. I might come back and try to get all the level all the medals though. That sounds like a really fun thing to do, honestly. That's good to know. Part of why I don't, like, do the... Like, in Pizza Tower, I'm probably not going to A-rank everything, because in Pizza Tower, I don't really know what score I need to aim. Well, I, I can kind of get an idea, anyway. Should have done the charge dash first. <laughs> Seven minutes? Wow. I mean, I imagine if you know where you're going, that's probably not the hardest thing in the world. But man, that, there's going to be a lot of routing in that, probably. Half the speedrun is, is failing, yeah! Only half? <laughs> I feel like it should be more than that. <laughs> I'm glad I've finally gotten that down. No! Fuck! Oh, wait, there's level down here. What the fuck? This way? Oh god! I knew this was down here. 100% intended. Yeah, I'm noticing that. because It doesn't need to rely on kill points, because they've had this whole fall-to-your-death mechanic. It sort of means that they don't, they don't need a kill plane, because they know if they design the level properly, you're going to fall for far enough 
and die. It, it's quite clever, and I, I, I think it's pretty cool. hate those spikes enemies, they really need to be colored differently. <laughs> Man, red lasts for a very long time. She probably should look at a speedrun of this game. I bet it's ridiculous. <laughs> Final air. Well, that snuck up on us. <laughs> <laughs> 